drive to Saga today. Today is our day 5 of Yatra. We will be driving for almost 6 to 8 hours covering distance of 240 kilometers. Our convoy is ready and excited to go to Saga. Nyalam is behind us, landscape changes dramatically. Lush greenery is left behind. We are exposed to wide open plateau ahead of us lined with mountains which are at horizon. At times they seem so close but you just keep driving and they keep going away from you. Remember, we have to consume 3 liters of water every day. So the next step is the need for frequent bladder relief. When you are inside the vehicle, you are very comfortable and warm in the cabin. but. There is no telling how windy or cold weather can be outside. At higher altitude, weather is always unpredictable. It can be bright and sunny one minute and clouds can take over and pouring rain another. It is very windy throughout western Tibet. Air is very dry. It is extremely important to keep your head covered all the time to prevent heat loss and ears covered from the piercing wind. This high altitude and above, sun is usually very strong. Make sure to protect your skin by using good quality sunscreen and always wear sunglasses to protect your eyes from sun as well as piercing wind. our first high pass of Tongla. It is advisable to get out of the vehicle and walk around frequently to help get acclimatized to the higher altitude. Mother Nature is so inviting. You definitely want to step out of your vehicle at Tongla Pass. Also, on a clear sky day, two important mountains can be seen from here. First one, Gauri Shankar, which is the second highest peak of Rolvaling Himal, which is about 100 kilometers northeast of Kathmandu, and Shish Bangma, which is also called Gosai Nath. Gosai Nath is the highest peak of Jugal Himal, 
Jugal Himal is also considered part of Longtang Himal. Gosainath Mountain is only 5 kilometers from the border of Nepal in south central Tibet. Both mountains were playing peekaboo with us, hiding under clouds, so we were not fortunate to see it. One of this mountain resembles so much like a Ganpati. Road ahead of us is very steep and curvy, one can get nauseated very easily. After driving 11 kilometers, we reach our second high pass of today's journey called La Lang La. this pass there is a huge glacial lake and I think the name is Pegustur and from here onwards all the way up to Mansarovar one gets to see lots of glacial lakes. After successfully driving past high passes we stop at wonder of the wonders to celebrate and enjoy. We really enjoyed going up and down the sand dunes, the views of the mountain at distance and glacial lakes. It is so beautiful.
after a long drive, finally we are at our hotel late in the evening. I must say we had a very good day from sightseeing and entertainment point of view, but the curvy roads, many yatris did not take it well. They were very nauseated. We need to start early in the morning to drive to Mansarovar tomorrow. Your love and support in form of subscribing, liking and sharing my videos will be very motivating for me to make more videos on my travels.